about the author. Gregorio Lopez y Fuentes was a Mexican novelist, poet and journalist. He was one of the leading chroniclers of the Mexican Revolution. He has written many books including La Siringa de Cristel, Claros de Silva, El Vagabundo, El Alma del Poblaco and many more. He was awarded the National Prize of Arts and Sciences in 1935. A letter to God has a beautiful theme or moral. The theme is extreme faith in God may give you a ray of hope even in the darkest times. What is the meaning of faith? Faith means strong belief. Here faith in God, so strong belief in God may give you a ray of hope means will give you some kind of positive hope or some something for you to hope for even in the darkest times what is darkest times when you are in the worst situation so if you have faith in god it will help you to come out of the worst situation any time so this is the moral of the story a letter to god so let's move on to the chapter now the house the only one in the entire valley sat on the crest of a low hill from this height one could see the river and the field of ripe corn dotted with the flowers that always promised a good harvest the only thing the earth needed was a downpour or at least a shower so here the writer says that there was a house and that house was the only one present in the whole valley sat on the crest of a low hill so this house was located on the top of a small hill and that was the only house to be seen around from this height one could see the river and the field of ripe corn dotted with the flowers so from this house one could see the vast stretch of corn field that was there in front and what is he saying one could see the field of ripe corn dotted with the flowers that always promised a good harvest so how was the corn field it was dotted with flowers what is the meaning of dotted with that means scattered so flowers of the corn plant were scattered you could see it scattered all over the field and this was a promise that the farmer could get a good harvest so the only thing needed was a downpour or at least a shower so the field was getting ready to have a good harvest of corn and what was necessary a downpour what is downpour rain or at least a shower it means a small shower so the farmer was expecting some rain so that he could get a good harvest so what do we see in this paragraph so there was a valley and in that whole valley there was only one house and that house was located on a small hill and who lived in this house it was a farmer and from his house he could see his entire stretch of corn field and the corn field was scattered with the corn flowers and all he needed was some shower or downpour both means rain so that he could get a good harvest throughout the morning Lencho who knew his fields intimately had done nothing else but see the sky towards the northeast now we are really going to get some water woman the woman who was preparing supper replied yes god willing the older boys were working the field while the smaller ones were playing near the house until the woman called to them all come for dinner throughout the morning lencho who knew his fields intimately so all through the morning the whole day lencho who is lencho we know that the farmer's name is lencho who knew his fields intimately what is intimately very closely so he knew his fields properly he knew every nook and corner of his field thoroughly so he had done nothing else but see the sky towards the northeast so the whole day what was lencho doing he was only looking towards the sky so why was he looking towards the sky he was expecting some shower or he was expecting some downpour so that he could the plants would be happy and then he would get some good harvest now we are really going to get some water woman so immediately he called out to his wife so he is calling his wife as woman he is addressing her as woman so he is telling her now we are going to get some water that means he is expecting rain so that the fields will all be having some water the woman who was preparing supper so what was his wife doing at that time she was preparing supper what is supper the meal that you have at night 
So the woman who was preparing supper replied, Yes, God willing. So she said that yes, if God is willing, we will get some shower for our fields. The older boys were working in the field. So he had children and the older boys, what they were doing? They were working in the field. While the younger ones were playing near the house. The small boys were playing and the elder ones were working in the field. Near the house until the woman called to them, come for dinner. So immediately the woman who was preparing supper, she called out for her boys to come and have the food. It was during the meal that just as Lencho had predicted, big drops of rain began to fall. In the northeast, huge mountains of clouds could be seen approaching. The air was fresh and sweet. The man went out for no other reason than to have the pleasure of feeling the rain on his body. And when he returned, he exclaimed, These are in raindrops falling from the sky. They are new coins. So it was during the meal that just as Lencho had predicted, big drops of rain began to fall. So while having food, what happened? Raindrops began to fall. So as Lencho had predicted, that means he had already foreseen that it was going to rain. And what happened? Rain started falling down. That too, big, big drops of rain began to fall. In the northeast, huge mountains of clouds could be seen approaching. So we knew that he was looking towards the northeast side. And it was the same side that a huge cloud started forming. And they were approaching towards the fields. The air was fresh and sweet. So you know how the air smells and looks like whenever we are going to have some rain. So in this in this place also it was the same. There was fresh air and it was sweet smelling because the rain was about to come or it had already started falling. The man went out for no other reason than to have the pleasure of feeling the rain on his body. So what did Lencho do when he saw the raindrops falling? He just went out and he wanted to feel the rain on his body because he was actually feeling very happy that it was raining. Because why? Why was he happy? Because the rain will help him to get some good harvest. So as he predicted, it started raining. And so he went out to feel that rain on his body. And when he returned, he exclaimed, so he went out, had some rain on his body and he came inside and he exclaimed, what is exclaiming, shouted out with joy. So what did he say? These are in raindrops falling from the sky, they are new coins. So what did he exclaim? He, he shouted and said happily to his people that these are not raindrops, they are actually new coins falling from the sky. Now why did Lencho call raindrops as new coins? Because he knew that if the rain falls on his field, it will help him to get a good harvest whereby he will be able to earn a lot of money by selling his harvest. So that's why he called the raindrops as new coins. The big drops are 10 cent pieces and the little ones are fives. So he said that the big drops are 10 cents and the little ones are 5 cents. With a satisfied expression, he regarded the field of ripe corn with its flowers draped in a curtain of rain. So he was having a very satisfied expression. So why was he satisfied? We know that he was waiting for the rain so that it will help him get a good harvest. So as the rain came as expected, he was feeling so satisfied and he looked at his corn field with its flowers fully covered with a curtain of rain. But suddenly a strong wind began to blow and along with the rain very large hailstones began to fall. These truly did resemble new silver coins. So as he was very satisfied because the rain was actually falling down, what happened? Suddenly everything changed. What happened? A suddenly strong wind began to blow. So there was a strong wind. He only wanted a small shower that would be helpful for his field. But then what happened? There was a strong wind and it, belong, it began to blow along with the heavy rain. Very large hailstones began to fall. So it is not raindrops that was falling after some time. Hailstones began to fall. What is hailstones? Large drops of ice pieces. No, uh, it will look like stones actually stones of ice so instead of raindrops it was stones of ice that was falling down 
these truly did resemble like new silver coins so it is actually looking like silver coins because they were big pieces of ice that was actually falling down the boys exposing themselves to the rain ran out to collect the frozen pearls so his children when they saw the huge stones of ice falling down they just ran out to collect because they were looking like frozen pearls it's really getting bad now exclaimed the man so the man who was actually happy to see the rain now started feeling worried because it was getting bad because all the frozen pearls or the frozen ice that was falling down would come and damage his crops so i hope it passes quickly so he had a little hope what is the hope he thought that the hailstones would stop and the damage would become less it did not pass quickly that means it started it continued to fall the hailstones continued to fall for an hour the hail rained on the house the garden the hillside the corn field on the whole valley so imagine the continuous fall of hailstones for one hour what happened the entire valley the garden the hillside the house everything was covered with hailstones the field was white as if covered with salt so the whole field his corn field was covered with hailstones and it looked like as if it was completely covered with salt it was white in color not a leaf remained on trees the corn was totally destroyed so everything was destroyed because of the hailstones even the trees that were around were totally covered with hailstones the flowers were gone from the plants lencho's soul was filled with sadness so lencho the farmer he was feeling very sad his soul was filled with sadness so why was he sad because his complete his uh, corn crops and the whole field was destroyed by the hailstones when the storm had passed he stood in the middle of the field and said to his sons a plague of locusts would have left more than this so when the hailstorm stopped what happened he went and stood in the middle of his field and told his sons a plague of locusts would have left more than this what is a plague of locusts that is a large number of insects locust is a small insect that looks like a grasshopper so he is saying that even if a plague of locusts come and destroy the fields something would have remained but then the whole the hailstorm ha- the hailstone has totally destroyed the fields so he started telling to his sons that even if our field was destroyed by a plague of locusts something would have been left but the total damage had been done by this hailstorm the hail has left nothing this year we will have no corn so what he told his sons the hailstone has left nothing that means his total field was destroyed so he said that this year we will not have any corn the night was a sorrowful one so why was the night sorrowful because lencho knew that there was nothing in his field nothing left and he would not be able to sell anything and therefore no money and no food all our work for nothing so he was also feeling sad that all the hard work that he had put in all these days went for nothing because everything was destroyed there's no one who can help us and he was also feeling extremely sad because he felt that nobody will be able to help them we'll all go hungry this year so he said that this year we'll be totally hungry because we won't have any money to buy any food stuff but in the hearts of all who lived in that solitary house in the middle of the valley there was a single hope help from god but then in the hearts of the people who lived in that solitary house what is solitary house lonely house there was only one hope what was that hope help from god so they all hoped that some help would come from god so that was what they were waiting for Don't be so upset even though it seems like a total loss. Remember no one dies of hunger. That's what they say, no one dies of hunger. All through the night Lencho thought only of his one hope, held the help of God, whose eyes as he had been instructed see everything, even what is deep in one's conscious. So Lencho was feeling so sad because his crop was totally destroyed but then his wife consoled him what did she say 
Don't be so upset even though it seems like a total loss remember no one dies of hunger so she said that even though it is looking like a total loss nobody will die of hunger so nobody is going to die without food so there is some hope in her also so she feels that some help would come from some quarter that's what they say no one dies of hunger so he also said okay yes what you say is right and nobody is going to die of hunger all through the night lencho thought only of his one hope the help of god so all through the night he was only thinking about one thing what was that he had extreme faith in god and he knew that god will help him in one way or the other so the help of god whose eyes as he had been instructed see everything even what is deep in one's conscious so he knew that god's eyes will have a look at everything even what you think so everything god, because he had extreme faith in god what happened to his field it was completely destroyed by the hailstone so lencho was an ox of a man working like an animal in the fields but still he knew how to ride so uh, lencho was an ox of a man what do you mean by that he was a very hard working man he worked like an ox in a field working like animals in field so we know how the animals work continuously in the field so similarly lencho also used to work continuously in his fields but still he knew how to ride but he was also a person who knew how to ride so he was planning to get some help from god the following sunday at daybreak he began to write a letter which he himself would carry to town and place in the mail so what happened the following sunday that means the next sunday that was coming at daybreak in the morning he began to write a letter so he started writing a letter which he himself would carry to the town and place it in the mail so he thought he would write a letter and then ask god for some help so he will write it himself carry to the post office and put it in the box it was nothing less than a letter to god god he wrote if you don't help me my family and i will go hungry this year so he started writing a letter to god and what did he write god if you don't help me my family and i will go hungry this year so he says god if you are not going to help me my whole family is not going to have any food and therefore the whole year we are going to be hungry i need a hundred pesos in order to sow my field again and to live until the crop comes because the hail storm he wrote to god on the envelope put the letter inside and still trouble went to town at the post office he placed a stamp on the letter and dropped it into the mailbox one of the employees who was a postman and also helped at the post office went to his boss laughing heartily and showed him the letter to god so he continued writing in his letter what else did he write he wrote i need 100 pesos in order to sow my field again and to live until the crop comes because the hail storm so he wrote that he wanted a 100 peso what is peso it's a unit of currency that is used in almost uh, eight countries in the america so we don't know which country is this so it could be one of these so he said that he wanted 100 pesos and with that money it will help him to sow his field and be able to live for one more year till his crop comes because of the hail storm so he wrote to god that it was a hail storm that destroyed his field and he wanted money to sow the seeds again buy the seeds and sow it so he wanted 100 pesos he wanted god to give him 100 pesos so he wrote the letter put it in an envelope and he wrote on the envelope to god and what did he do he put the letter inside the envelope so he took the envelope and he went to the post office from there he placed a stamp on the letter and dropped it into the mailbox so he put a stamp on his envelope and put it into the post box one of the employees who was a postman and also helped at the post office went to his boss laughing heartily and showed him the letter so as he dropped the post letter into the post box what happened one postman who was also working there he saw this letter and he took it out and then he took the letter and went directly to the postmaster what did the postmaster do and they both started laughing because what happened 
what was written on the cover it was written to god so nobody writes a letter to god so that is why maybe probably they started laughing never in his career as a postman had he known that address so this man had never seen such a letter at all he has seen so many addresses but never had he seen a letter addressed to god the postmaster a fat amiable fellow amiable means friendly man also broke out laughing so the postman as well as the postmaster started laughing but almost immediately he turned serious and tapping the letter on his desk commented so first he started laughing but then suddenly he became serious and he he kept the letter on his desk and commented that means he said something what did he say what faith i wish i had the faith of the man who wrote this letter so he was praising the faith of the man who had written this letter who wrote this letter it was written by lencho so he was praising the kind of faith he had to write a letter to god and the postmaster felt that even he should have had such faith the man had and starting a communication with god by writing a letter what is the meaning of correspondence here correspondence means communication so in order to not to shake the faith of the writer's faith in god the postmaster came with an idea so the postmaster was so wonderstruck by the kind of faith lencho had in god so he came up with an idea to keep that faith intact what did he do answer the letter so he thought that the best way to keep the faith in god lencho's faith in god was to give an answer to that letter but when he opened it it was evident that to answer it he needed something more than goodwill ink and paper so the postmaster wanted to know what he had written to the uh, written to god so he opened the letter and read it so what was written inside it was written that he wanted a 100 pesos but as soon as the postman read it he understood that it was not only ink and paper that he needed he needed something else also because he had to give away some money also but he stuck to his resolution what is the resolution resolution means a strong decision to do something he asked for money for his employees so what was his resolution his resolution was to answer lencho's letter to god so he asked for money from his employees he himself gave a part of his salary so since lencho had asked god for 100 pesos he had to collect the money so the postmaster asked some money from his employees and he himself gave some amount from his salary and several friends of his were obliged to give something for an act of charity and some of his friends also gave him some money because they were ready to uh, give some help to somebody who was in need what is the meaning of charity charity means helping somebody in need so his friends were ready to help somebody who was in need it was impossible for him to gather together 100 pesos so he was able to send the farmer only a little more than half so the postmaster who wanted to keep the faith of lencho intact he decided to write a reply to his letter and so what did he do he started collecting money from his employees he gave his own salary also a bit and he took some money from his friends also but he was not able to collect the 100 pesos he was only able to collect a little more than half of the amount that he had asked so he put the money in an envelope addressed to lencho and with it a letter containing a single word as a signature so what did he do he put the money whatever he had collected put it in an envelope and he put a letter also in that letter there was only one word as a signature so probably it could be from god so this is what he did so the following sunday lencho came a bit earlier than usual to ask if there was a letter for him so next sunday what happened lencho came back to the post office so he wanted to know if he had a reply from god it was the postman himself who handed the letter to him while the postmaster experiencing the contentment of a man who has performed a good deed looked on from his office so when lencho came the following sunday to the post office to collect his reply the postman handed him the letter 
and the postmaster who was responsible for giving the reply he sat in his place and he was feeling contented contented means satisfied because he had performed a good deed so what was a good deed he did he tried to help lencho by putting collecting some money and sending it to him in the name of god so he looked from his seat he just looked at what lencho was doing lencho showed not the slightest surprise on seeing the money so lencho when he received the cover there was no change of expression on his face this shows that he was extremely sure that god is going to reply to him so when he got the letter also there was no slightest change of expression on his face at all such was his confidence so because he had extreme confidence in god he knew that he would get the reply so but he became angry when he counted the money but as soon as he opened the letter and counted the money he was very angry god could not have made a mistake nor could he have denied lencho what he had requested so lencho was very angry because he counted the money and maybe it was less as to what he had asked for and he felt that god can never make a mistake and he could have denied lencho what he had requested and he also knew that god would not be without giving him what he had asked for immediately lencho went up to a window to ask for paper and ink so feeling angry that he had not received the money what he had asked for he wanted to reply to god so what he did he went and took a paper and ink on the public writing table he started to write with much wrinkling of his brow caused by the effort he had to make to express his ideas so he started writing a reply to god and there was a change of expression on his face so when he finished he went to the window to buy a stamp which he licked and then affixed on the envelope with a blow of his fist so he was fully angry because he had not received the money what he asked for so immediately he wrote a reply to god and then he put it inside the cover bought a stamp and fixed it on the envelope and then put it inside the post box the moment the letter fell into the mailbox the postmaster went to open it so as soon as he dropped the letter and went back the postmaster went and took the letter and opened it it said that means what was written on the letter it was written like this god of the money that i asked for only 70 pesos reached me send me the rest since i need it very much but don't send it to me through the mail because the post office employees are a bunch of crooks lencho so this is what he had written so what did he write he wrote that he had asked money for he had asked for about 100 pesos but what reached him was only 70 pesos send me the rest since i need it very much so he is asking god to send him the rest of the money but don't send it to me through the mail and he is also requesting god not to send it through this mail because the post office employees are a bunch of crooks he says god he is asking god not to send the rest of the money through this mail because he feels that the post office employees are a bunch of crooks what do you mean by crooks cheats so he thinks that the if god sends the money through this mail he feels that the employees in the post office may cheat him or take away the money so that was the kind of faith he had in god so what kind of man is lencho so lencho is a very hard working simple and innocent farmer he had extreme faith in god and he thought that only god could help him in distress he never had the sense to believe that it could be the bunch of employees from the post office who had really helped him he felt that if god replies to him and send him the rest of the money the p 